Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be the first tutorial for our blog. Um, today we're going to go over how to add a Twitter feed to your sidebar. Um, basically, you'll, you will have arrived at this post, or else you're probably not watching this video or you're watching it on YouTube. Um, go ahead and uh, when you arrive here, you're going to see that there's big intro and whatnot. And here's the main bulk of the code for Thesis. It, it can, contains two functions. And actually four functions, two of which just define, and then uh, two hooks. And then there's also the CSS styling at the bottom. The video you'll find somewhere right in here. What we're creating today is it will look like what you see here on the Nick on Twitter. And uh, we will be adding it to uh, the musings of Nicholas Reese, which is my personal site. And uh, that was from testing. Actually, it's my third time recording the video. I uh, had to figure out how to get rid of uh, WP Cache. For some reason, it kept on giving me issues. So let's get started. So go ahead and open up Dreamweaver or whatever your editing client is. Uh, I have it open. I have a site defined for anyone that uh, knows Dreamweaver very well. Uh, you may have to download it from your own FTP or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and open up your FTP. Go to the WP Content folder, Themes thesis and your thesis number and custom. Today we're going to be editing the custom functions and custom.css. So let's get both of them open. So as you'll see I like to organize mine with big blocks stuff. Uh, everyone has their own preferences and uh, so let's go ahead and grab the code off of the tutorial. So you want this entire code block and go ahead and copy it. Oops. and move it back into your editor. I've already created a, a block, like a, a header for me, because this is my third time recording it, so I don't want I want to get it right this time. So here we go. Um, we'll paste it in. First, once you get it pasted in, you want to change your, um, your Twitter ID to whatever yours is, or else it's going to display mine, and uh, whatever your display name is. Basically, these two functions are just referenced within uh, the other two functions. It was easier than trying to define the variables twice. I'm not a PHP guru. I know enough to get by. Uh, what we're going to do is basically th this calls one of your uh, posts. If you want to call, like, let's say three, you would change it here. But we're just going to call one. Uh, one other thing that you need to make sure you have is you need to make sure that you're running jQuery before this. If not, um, you can actually get it from Google and I'll, I'll update the code on the, on the tutorial once this video is done. So, where'd it go? So, yeah, the code would go someplace in there and I'm just going to comment it out for right now. So, when you get, get this, this will be commented out. And if you need it, uh, uncomment it. If you don't need it, just remove it. So let's go ahead and upload this to our site. And let's check it out. So as you'll see, this pulls in my uh, Twitter photo along with um, my latest tweet, which actually, a lot of the code was used from this guy named Red Wolves. Uh, big credit to him, and I just tweeted back to him and thanking him for it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna style it now at the bottom of this, I've also included the CSS styling. Let's go ahead and highlight that. And let's go back to Dreamweaver and add the CSS. So just add it anywhere in the custom folder. Uh, I have a custom theme, so I've got a lot of stuff in here. So I'll just add it down in my plugins area. And go ahead and put it again. Upload it again. And let's do it. This is what it looks like on uh, on here, and you may want to style it differently. Uh, you can do this easily with uh, Web Developer Toolbar, uh, Edit CSS, and you can style it however you want. Remember, it's in your custom CSS folder, and you can scroll down to the bottom and get to your plugins. I, I may at some point do a tutorial on how to quickly edit CSS with Firebug and Web Developer Toolbar. So, but for this, let's just say I, I wanted to change the background color and the border. Like I'll just get rid of the background color and the border. And this will find out that it's the tweets that we're looking for, the tweets ID. 
So we come in here and look for custom.tweets. And so we see, we'll see the background colors here. So we'll go ahead and remove that. And then we'll remove the border as well. So that will just give me all this code there. And I'll probably style it more later. But uh, once you get that, highlight it all and go back to your editor, paste it over your old stuff and upload it to your site. So that's pretty much uh, how the plugin or how this little hack works. And uh, like I said, if you wanted to try three, you could go ahead and upload it again. So I'm trying to get out of the habit of using keyboard shortcuts when I'm on uh, my recording. There we go. So it's pulling in three. You'll have to do some of your own CSS. But yeah, it pulls in three of them. Uh, pretty much, if you know CSS, you can style it any which way you want. And if you know PHP and jQuery, you can pretty much do anything with this. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Uh, once again, you'll see this on this page. And yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Leave in the comments if you like it in the video format or if it's, uh, or, or whatnot, if you like it, if you have another way of, it'd be easier for me to go ahead and visualize how, how to do these things. All right, thanks.